So I've got a, uh, it's a computer here. I'm just using the power supply. Um, I'm using it as a bench power supply effectively. So I'm using 5 volt, ground of course, positive 12 volt, and negative 12 volt. Uh, this is a 20 pin ATX. You can look up the pin out. And notice there is a jumper, essentially this guy here, this curved wire. Uh, to get a power supply to turn on, you have to short out uh, the green wire and a, and a black wire. Blacks are the grounds. That tricks the power supply into thinking it is connected to a motherboard and that the uh, power switch has been pushed. So, what am I connected to? Well, I'm connected to a Emu Vintage Keys synthesizer. So, these are my wires going in to a little Molex type adapter uh, going to the main board. I'm bypassing the power supply because the power supply doesn't work and I'm a little impatient and I just want to see if this synth will turn on. So <laughs> we're going to turn it on. Up here on the power strip, send power to the power supply and hopefully all my connections are good and we will see something light up here or smoke. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that is awesome. Damn it, now I'm gonna plug into the headphones and play this thing. So I'm back. I've got the uh, vintage keys on. It's on the Tron string sound. I've verified that all the different uh, controller buttons work, the data entry knob, you know, that's all good. I've got headphones plugged in and I'm on MIDI. So I've got a MIDI controller here. Oh, more, much more than a controller. This is a Micro Freak, and a Micro Freak is great for testing equipment like this because it's so small. I can just put it anywhere. Now, check it out. You're just hearing it off the headphones. Now, let's change patch. Oh, we'll set up an arpeggio here. Put a latch it on. There we go. Tron Choir. Working like a champ. <laughs> 